Our our last guest speak, honorable speaker today is uh, uh, Mr. Priyanta Nararatna, executive committee member of Malala Sekera Foundation in Sri Lanka and editorial committee member of Aloka International Buddhist Magazines. Welcome, Sabatika. Hi, Bowen. Hi. May the noble people just bless you all. Most venerable Mahasangha, including venerable Dr. Ponchai Palavadammo, my dear brothers and sisters. I am Priyanta Navaratna, Executive Committee Member of Malasekar Foundation of Sri Lanka and Editorial Committee Member of Aloka International Buddhist Magazine. Today our theme is World Peace Through Inner Peace. Every minute of our lives, we are involved in the world. What exactly is the world? We can divide the world into two parts, internal and external. We get knowledge about the external world through our sensory faculties. Then we analyze them in our internal world, which we refer to as mind. That is our mental process. We make decision after analyzing, which is referred to as the mental process. And we communicate our conclusions verbally and in action to the outside. If this is the case, it is indisputable that a person's mental process makes the world. Mano Pubbang Gama Dhamma, Mano Setta Mano Mea. Mind perceives all phenomena. Everything is mind made. So, our mental process is highly important. This mental process has the pot potential to either destroy the entire world or create a harmonious and peaceful world. If we perform this mental process with ignorance, avijja, which refers to the lack of understanding of Dhamma, we will generate negative karmic energy. Not only that, it also has a negative impact on the world. First of all, people must learn to be satisfied with what they have. Why are people attempting to take others' land or belongings by force? They have missed the key point of the Buddha revealed, Sabya Sankara Anicca, which means everything in this world is subjected to the law of impermanence. Then who will try to start global conflict if human can understand this reality? Today I want to focus on how to successfully cultivate inner peace. To begin, you must surround yourself with good friends, Kalyana Mitra. You can also become a Kalyana Mitra to others. Visit the natural environment at least once a week for two, three hours and listen to the natural sounds while enjoying a view of green space, which has a direct impact on your mental peace. You can practice mindfulness since it is the mind's devoted security officer. Then you can carefully observe your own thoughts and comprehend the nature of your mind. You may also see how your own thoughts can cause problems and how the mind learns to deal with such situations. These strategies make it simple to achieve inner peace, which leads to world peace. This is the way to light your inner lamp and then you can light the world. As followers of the Buddha, by expanding people's knowledge through programs like this, we should do everything we can to establish a peaceful society. Finally, on behalf of the Malasekara Foundation of Sri Lanka, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Venerable Ponchai Palavadammo, Nan Midila, and the program's organizing committee for inviting us 
and we really appreciate your effort to address the global need today thank you very much thank you very much uh, mr priyata nawarat for your very nice speech and remind us that everything in this world is impermanent and we can gain the workplace to our individual in the peace. Thank you so much for your very nice speech. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So now.